like match it in. You can just like turn right. Just keep turning right until it it goes in. Now you go use two hands. Push in and use two hands. And then this is what it looks like when you have the replace filter light on. And I'm going to show you how to replace the filter with an official cartridge. You will see that when you take out the cartridge, it looks like this. And there's a cap on top. Obviously, we can take that off. Here are the two O-rings that you need to make sure to fit into the filter. I'm just going to put this back on. There's a little tap at the bottom here. Press upwards and then lift. And then it'll come out. So basically, it looks like this. You press this and it releases this trigger. And then you lift out. I'm just going to put this here. I'm also going to get a towel to make sure that stuff don't go everywhere. Now, when you pull this out, you'll see that there's a stopper here. Make sure you lift upwards a little bit gently and then slide out to about a 45 degree angle and then that will be helpful. You'll notice also here that this plastic here is eaten away because it's a one use only. If you try and undo it and then put it back in, undo it, put it back in, this plastic's going to eat away and then the water is going to leak out and that will be no good. It's not really necessary to turn off the main water, but I am going to turn it off because it's just good practice. Okay, so we have our old cartridge, which I'm going to put into a glass over here. And that way, once the water goes everywhere, I can catch it all. So to take it out, simply turn counterclockwise. So clockwise is this way, counterclockwise is this way. You can also see here that there's an arrow that points this way to screw that way when you're screwing it in. So just do the opposite. So to take it out, turn counterclockwise and keep turning until it comes out. And a little bit of water will leak out. I'm gonna put this into my cup. And as you can see, the cup is already full of water at the bottom. So you gotta have a cup, a glass. Now there's water here, so I'm just gonna clean it up. With this towel. That way there's no bacteria. Look at the difference between the two here. See that? The plastic is eaten away, and this is the new one here. So if you put it in and out too much, it will damage it. Okay, so to put the new one in, flip the cap off, and find this piece that matches here. You will also see that one of these pieces will match this arrow here. There's an arrow. Match it in. You can just like turn right, just keep turning right until it, it goes in. Now you go use two hands, push in and use two hands and then it'll squeeze, it'll screw in. If you just use one hand, it's not going to go in because it's quite tight and see how you got to damage the plastic a little bit. And now it's in. There's a little bit of water. I'm going to open this up to this angle and just clean it out so that there's no bacteria. I'm gonna flip this back in like that. It's all clean and dry. I make sure that both the O-rings are sitting inside this. If one of these, you can see two red black bands here, right? If one of these black bands is sitting on the edge, that's no good. You gotta push it in, right? You gotta make sure it goes in. Because that's what's keeping the water from coming out. All right? To put the lid back on, slide in an ankle, press where this arrow is. And also in the corner. And this corner. There, done. Take out my finished cartridge. Water filter is now blinking. So at this point, 
I hold on to this button, water filter reset, for three seconds. Two, three. And then now water filter counter is reset. Turn on my mains again. Mains turned on. At this point, you gotta flush the system. So I'm gonna flush the system, put it on water, and you can hear all the gas coming out. Keep holding on, and it will pump out all the air. Sometimes, it just won't come out at all. If that's the case, just keep holding for a minute or two, and if it doesn't come out, then what you do is just wait. Wait an hour, come back, do it again. If it doesn't, wait an hour, come back, do it again. I've had times where it takes up to a day or two for the air in the system to undo itself. Now you gotta do this for a long time. I would say maybe like two to three liters or whatever the instructions say but you can you can see in here that the water is cloudy because there's bubbles in there you can see the water is cloudy so you just do this process and flush out the air for I'd say about five minutes or so and it should be okay. And now you can have fresh water again. Yay!